Hi, today's topic is about the set point theory. There are some doctors who've written books about it and they claim that it is true and then there are other professionals who say it's just not valid. So the theory is this, is that each of us are genetically predisposed to be at a certain weight. So no matter how much weight we gain or we lose, our body fights really hard to get us right back to that set weight. It's kind of like an internal thermostat. Now, there are some experts that also claim that this is why some people have a really hard time losing weight long term. But they suggest that if you follow the following suggestions that I'm going to give you, that you can actually increase your metabolism and reset your set point theory. All right, so here's the suggestions. First, you've got to exercise at least five to six times per week. You're going to want to do cardio and resistance training. Cardio helps condition the heart and lungs. It helps detoxify the body, helps you sweat. Then on the resistance training, it helps build muscle. Your body requires more energy to hold onto muscle than it does to fat. So the more muscle you have throughout your body, the more calories you're going to burn. Next, you're going to want to reduce your caloric intake. So stay away from those high fat, high uh, processed foods, high sugar foods, and you're going to want to eat more live, fresh, whole foods. Eat more fruits, eat more vegetables. You can even juice those if you really can't stand eating your fruits and vegetables. Next, you want to eat small, frequent meals, at least five to six per day. Now, what this does is it's kind of like putting little logs on the fire. So what you're doing is you're training your body to use the food as fuel versus storing it as fat, which brings up the next point. You never want to skip meals. Skipping breakfast and things like that, you're not saving calories. What you're doing is you're actually slowing down your metabolism and you're training your body to start storing the food as fat. It's not going to burn it. So keep those frequent meals up and don't skip meals. Next, you want to drink water, tons of water. Drink at least eight, eight ounces a day. And a personal tip from me is to add water, excuse me, add lemon to your water. It's a natural detoxifier and it actually helps with the taste of the water. Uh, most importantly, do not lose more than two pounds per week. When you do this, you're actually slowing down your metabolism because you're losing two important things. You're losing muscle and you're losing water. Those are the main things that help speed up your metabolism. Keep that in mind. So here's my take on all of this. I do believe that if you follow the points that I just gave you, that you truly can lose weight. And it's the same points that I've been giving my clients for years, and they've lost weight successfully. However, there's some other factors that come into play that I think truly determine whether our weight stays at the same point or fluctuates. And it's our habits, whether we're exercising consistently or eating the right foods consistently. Also, what comes into play is we're more sedentary than ever. We commute for long hours at a time. We sit down at a computer for long hours at a time. We also sit in front of the TV and play video games for hours at a time. Here are the next batch of factors that if you're doing all the right things, you're eating all the right foods, and you're exercising, and you're just not seeing a difference in your weight, keep these things in mind. One is you might have a thyroid problem. And so if your weight's not moving, you may wanna go see the doctor for that. Next, if you're on any type of uh, prescription drugs, there are some drugs that actually are going to contribute to your weight gain. So you may wanna see your doctor about that. Uh, next is hormones. Even men have hormonal problems, and I know they don't wanna admit it, but they do. And especially if you're a female in your 40s to 50s, I guarantee you your hormones are going all over the place and your weight is shifting to different parts of your body that wasn't there before. So again, you may wanna see your doctor for that. Next is aging. At about 30 to 35, we start to lose muscle at a rate of about one to 3% every year. So like I mentioned earlier, muscle is what speeds up your metabolism. So if you're losing it, you've got to work out even harder. So that may be a factor as well. Lastly, and most importantly, we are under more stress than ever. 
we've got a different lifestyle than we used to have years ago, and we're le we are releasing more cortisol into our system than ever. And cortisol is an extra excess of calories, and it gets stored in the fat cells around our belly. So keep all these factors in mind. I wish you the best of luck on your weight loss journey, and if you want more tips like these, check us back at our websites.